Hey, what's going on, everyone? Uh, my name's Wolfman. Um, so I'm kind of in a bleak situation right now. Um, kind of mixed feelings. Um, something happened. And my mom just pulled me into the house right now to uh, tell me. And um, I don't know how to feel about this at all. Um, but I'm kind of having some mixed feelings. And I, I really want to make a video on this because it's kind of serious. And uh, I don't know. I don't know. There, there's a lot of things. But I'm not going to keep you guys in suspense anymore. But So what happened um, here where I live in Katy uh, in the outskirts of Houston, Texas. Um, there, there was a house party in Cypher, which is literally our next door neighbor, which is like 15, 20 minutes around the block. Um, of course, in a car. But... There was a house party with over a hundred people in there, and um, you know the fucked up part about it is that it, there was a drive-by shooting, where it supposedly said that there was people there from my school and uh, from other places in Cipher and stuff like that, and that probably two to five out of so many people got you know, shot at from our school. Now, I don't know how to feel about that. I mean, of course, some people, or, or it said, because in the email that my mom got from the principal, actually, um, it said that some people might have been fatally wounded. So, I don't know. I just got a text message. I don't know how to feel. I honestly don't know how I feel. Because, yeah, my condolences go out to all those that lost someone, probably last night. And, you know, I feel bad, but, I mean, I'm going to get kind of deep here. And I might start crying and all that. I don't know. Um, you know, because I'm a very sentimental person and, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about this, but okay, here I am. I'm 18 years old. Now I'm 18. I've never been invited to a party. Ever. And I got another text message. And my eyes are getting teary. But I never got ever invited into a party. And when I mean party, I don't mean like birthday party. I don't mean like, you know, just party. No, I mean like a good party where people can go drink, have fun, or whatever. Never in my life. Yeah, part of that being that I don't have my license, which is something I've yelled at my parents for years now about not even having a car. And I got another text message. And I get it. I get it. I mean, here I am. Look at me. I'm in a garage making videos for who knows what, for who knows who. You know, I don't even know if people like this. I like it. That's why I do it, but... Yeah, I've, I've met my girlfriend on here. But a lot of the struggles that I've had with her are because of precisely this. I mean, I've wanted to get drunk out of my mind just to forget about all the hard things here. And this isn't something to, you know, get sad about because I, I really am sorry for those people that lost someone last night or tonight. I don't even know. But, you know... When I think about it, it's like, at least they had a party to go to. You know what I was doing? I was here. Yeah, I mean, I guess I'm thankful that I didn't get shot at and that I'm not there. But at least they get a, you know. Yeah, they probably were scared for like three seconds before, you know, they probably died if someone died or whatever happened. But they were having fun. Fun that I've never had. I don't know how I feel about that. And that's why I'm getting all teary eyed. Because I don't. I've, I've never been invited to a party in my life. And this isn't saying, oh, hey, invite. No. So I'm just sharing this because this is something that I've really had in the back of my mind. Like, is it because of who I am? What I look like? You know, how I act? I don't get it. Is it because I don't have a car? Is it because... I mean, I make so many sacrifices. I mean, right now, I'm 
trying to move out, right? I only have eight hundred dollars. Eight hundred plus. Now, if it wasn't for my friend, I'd probably be able to get an apartment for one month and be out like that in a heartbeat. And there goes all my credit down the drain. But, I mean, I don't know how I feel. I don't, I don't know how I feel. It's hard to explain how I feel when it's something that's so controversial to me. And my head is stuck with those things, which is why my grades suck and half sucked. Which is why, you know, I don't think that I'm the smartest guy out there, but I know so much and I know it. But, I mean, when you get to the point that you go talk to a teacher that is your French teacher, my French teacher, she studied psychiatry. When you go, when you go up to that point and you're talking to her and you say, all I want to do is go to a party and get drunk. I don't care how it goes. I don't care what happens. I don't care who was there. I don't care if I'm like intruding. I just want to go drink out of my mind because it hurts. It hurts guys. I'm hurt on the inside so much and I don't know if people realize it and it's okay. I mean, you know, probably weeks from now when people see this, they might be making fun of me because I'm talking like this and it's okay. I mean, they're the stupid ones, right? Because they're the ones that are reviewing it and I get more pay for it, not them. But anyways, I just don't know how to feel about it. I don't know if I should feel like, well, at least they got to go to a party and, you know, at least they were having fun. Or if I should be like, well, thank God that I wasn't there. I don't know. But to close out this video, guys, I really want to, I really want to say something. You know, I don't know why, but my drinking philosophy is if you're going to have fun, don't get drunk. Yeah, get a buzz, take a beer, and take a shot, maybe two. That's it. You're with your friends. Have fun. Right? But like me, if I was in a party, you know, I'd probably feel alone unless someone came and talked to me. But I'd probably be alone, be a loner, and it would be okay. I just want as much to drink as possible. And at that point, with my philosophy, it's if you're going to get drunk, why, why get just buzzed? Why get just tipsy? Why get, you know, drunk? Why get, you know, shit-faced? And I hate that terminology. I hate the word. I hate the phrase shit-faced. I hate it. Why, why get, you know, wasted? No. Me? I've been drunk once. And I wasn't even mad, but I wanted to get drunk. And my philosophy is, if you're with your friends, get buzzed. But if you're really mad about something or really want to get drunk or something like that, and you feel like you're a loner, black out. Because that was me. And you might thank me later. You might not. I don't really know how I feel about it. But that's me. I'll black out. So yeah. To all the lives that were probably lost, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. You know, I don't I don't know the people there. I don't know who it was. But I'm sorry. You know, at least they had fun. And we're having fun. I hope that whose ever parents were that were the ones that have those tragedies can at least realize that they might have gotten shot. But they were having fun. So yeah, I'm very, very mixed up right now, but it's okay. I, I really needed to share that with you guys. I really needed to make this video. So my girlfriend, you know, like I said, our hardships is because of the drinking and all this. I mean, I've never, I've never been tempted to, well, I mean, I guess I have been tempted to do drugs, but I never have. Will I? Maybe. Probably. I don't know. Have I wanted to? Yeah. A few times. Have I? No. It's okay. I put out, I put myself out here 
because I'm trying to be a voice of experience. So yeah. So I love my girlfriend Annabeth. I love her a lot. But I guess I just need to share this with you guys. So until the next time, guys, I'll see you all in the next vlog. Talking about probably a better subject than killing, getting shot at, drinking, house parties, stuff like that. Alright, bye guys.